Hello and welcome to another episode of Sticky Situation. Uh, we're back down in St. George again for this one. And we're going to be doing some, uh, well hopefully a lot of projects this time. First thing we're going to be doing is cutting out that cement door into the basement so we can have a door from here. It goes all the way into the basement when we get rid of all those steps and everything. So we're going to do that first thing because that will open it up so we can um, pour a slab down in the bottom of here and then start making the stairs and all those other things. I also want to wrap the outside of this house, get it all finalized so that it'll be dried in in the sense. I mean, it's got the roof on and everything else now, but I'd like to do that and then see if I can get some of these. Uh, see those at all on there? Or am I just tapping the wind? So this, I'm going to extend it over and just keep that going all the way across. Kind of just to keep the look going on that one. So it's got a long weekend down here, so I'm hoping to be able to get a lot done because we really, really, really want to get this ready to rent or even to sell. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Right now it's up in the air. Anyway, so we're going to cut that door out. I'm not going to cut it out because it's a big door and it's going to be easier for the guys to use the big saw, so I've hired a company to come cut it. and. So let's get working on that and then I'll finish by breaking up all the cement that we have left over from that.
All right, we got it all cut. So thanks to my friends at Quick Cut Concrete here in St. George, Danny and Matt, they did an awesome job. We got it all cut out uh, for the most part. Accident free, it did a little bit of plumbing damage, but that's all right, because I had to rip that plumbing out anyway. So we're golden on that. I'm just happy to have a place where I can now build some stairs down and get right into that downstairs basement. So yeah, thanks again, Matt and Danny, for all your help for coming out and working on this project with me. Uh, so let's look at the inside and show you what I get to fix down there real fast. And here we have the cut on the inside, so it comes right up real nice and flush with the wall out here. Nice and flush with the header up right on top, and then down on the side. So good clean cut, much nicer than mine from the other side where I was trying to cut it both different directions. Yeah, the right equipment makes the job a lot easier, that's for sure. So the issue we did have was because we were kicking this out, you saw in the video how it kind of cracked in the center and collapsed back this way. We were trying to push it this way, but originally we had the sewer line that came all the way across this way into here. And so it was blocking this whole part. So Matt couldn't really swing and hit it very good up here because it would have hit the pipe. So it was kind of in the way. And then when it collapsed, the top part fell down and and pop the pipe off so so that let me show you where that pipe used to go so I just kind of have this bucket here for now because it's well catching those extra drips so nobody can go to the bathroom for until I get this fixed so yeah it used to come down and it came from here and it teed into that one and then came across over and finally connected down here in this corner. Very much in the way anyway, so I wanted to get rid of it. I wanted to keep it all on this side of the thing. So I was gonna try to cut this out and reconnect it anyway, because this is the old, this pipe was the old septic system. So the septic system still works. I think I need to unplug it though, because it was kind of clogged. We tried to get it undone before. And so what they had done is they just chopped that one off and then ran it all the way out to the sewer line which connected to the city but they had it going all the way out and around weird so what i'm going to be doing is cutting these pipes out of it and so that they come from the toilet right down there and then they just go right across that ceiling so this one will still be kind of in the way but not really because it's going to come in at this height on it and then drop down into the main pipe over here. So that one's not really that big of a deal. I wanted it out of the way. And then this other pipe, which I have here, which is the water drained from the sink and stuff. And I'm just gonna take that from where it's at over here and run it straight across as opposed to all the way down and then all the way back, which they had. Whoever did the original plumbing on this sink, horrible job, leaked the whole time that we've had this house. It's always dripping. It was at a weird angle, lots of bad stuff. So I'm going to try to improve that. I mean, I would really like to be able to go all the way down and then right out to the sewer line, but I cannot do that because the sewer lines 
at this level. So even if I get it out to the street, by the time it gets to the street, it's, it's higher than the basement here, which I don't quite understand. But according to the city anyway, I guess I could go out and dig the pit and find out for myself that it's an actual normal depth. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna get that fixed so that we can wash our hands and go to the bathroom and fun things like that. So let's work on that little plumbing project for now.
Okay, here's my masterpiece of all the tubes that I gotta put back together for the plumbing. So, put in a new pipe over here, the white one, because that's the way it was before. The old one was like really brittle, and that's why it broke, because it barely got hit and shattered and lost deep. Switched over to the black ABS. Put a new one in from this toilet down here. Comes across. This one right here is just the water line for the sink. Comes in, connects to that, which goes over here. And then this is the other toilet. This is probably all gonna get changed around in a month. I don't know, I just have to put it back together so we could go to the bathroom this week. Um, because I will probably move this toilet. Most assuredly, I will be moving this toilet because right now it's in the middle of the walkway where I want to put it to go through to the main bathroom. So this toilet will go, this toilet will most likely stay. So it's going to be a matter of chopping that one out. And I think I'll move that toilet all the way over to here more. Or over to here. One of those two. I'll move it somewhere. Just got to figure out where it's going to be the best place. Um, best place plumbing wise. But so that's my hope on that one. Maybe I'll just have to move it straight. I have to move it straight back from here over. But either way, it should tie back into this one and then be able to curl down into that. Fairly easy, I hope. I don't have to cut too much apart and put things back together. But hey, for now, that's done. We'll let it dry, test it for leaks later on. And then I can start breaking concrete, my favorite.
for you.
So this is the line for the sewer. This is down inside the basement, that little thing we built. So I think it's the old sewer line. It goes out to the septic system. I tried connecting the water to it last night to see if I could get it to flow down and see if it was still open, but it just filled the tubes up with water. Um, and I ran my snake down there and it's going to the end and it's, it just doesn't seem like it's going. It just feels like it's hitting a blockage and it's not digging through anything. So I pretty much am considering it a dead pipe, but I'm going to put a, a T in here anyway, just in case something ever comes up that I can just put it in here, put it in the floor as a drain or whatever, it'll just go down into this pipe and sit there. But then I also have my other floor drain, which is the French barrel drain that I have. So I'm gonna try to plug this thing. So I've got it cut to the right size. This, this is always hard to do when you're uh, using hard pipe because you have to lift one up, wedge it in, shove it down, and glue it and move it at the same time you're trying to glue it, and hopefully it doesn't dry super fast while you're trying to close it in, because you have to get it to go over, and then slide back kind of halfway so that it sits evenly between the two. But you only have like a half inch on that. So, we're gonna put it in and see what we can do. Hopefully I can get it, and it's not too big of a hassle but you never know. Alright, so you have to make sure one side of your pipe is long so that it has more flex to it. This side goes under the the wall here so I can't do much with it, So, but my other side goes back about six feet. So I've dug the dirt off that and loosened it up because I'm going to have to lift it up high enough to slide this end on first and then slide it back. So. Try that technique. But also, old pipe has lots of crap on it. So, grind it down a bit. We'll get the sandpaper to clean it off a little bit better, otherwise it won't slide on. So I used a heavier grit and I'm using one of these foam flexible pads that have a probably about a 200 grit on them because they bend around the pipe better, get the edges more smooth. Okay, that's done. We'll run a pipe up and come up quite straight. Uh, it's probably the glue dries really fast and then it doesn't slide at all. It's like you need this, the glue on there in order for it to slip in, but then the minute you slip it in, then it goes, firms up real good. And then you just you're just out of luck. But 
Either way, I can bring a pipe up out of here, cap it, pour the cement, and then come back in later on and, and decide whether they want it flush with the cement in here, just so it gives it another place for water to go, even though there's not really an outlet. However, it was weird when I was pounding it back this way, it dragged the whole pipe that way, so it almost makes me feel like the pipe goes out that way and it's cut off completely. So the only way I'm going to find that out is if I go out and I dig down six feet up out there in a hole, which I don't really feel like doing. So anyway, that's that part. Let's get back to crushing concrete. So today I want to finish getting that piece of plywood in up the top there to close this off. Then I'm going to wrap it with the house wrap and get it ready and then hopefully I'll be able to put the siding on it so I can get this at least finished up before winter. Um, so it looks a little bit nicer, better, not like I just built it. So uh, I mean it's always going to look newer. But yeah, so I want to get that done and see if I can close up the roof as well. And so at least the outside looks complete. That's my goal for today. Let's see how we do.
Okay, so we got that part done. I'm just going to try to carry the design of the shiplap siding that we have there. I guess it's not really, maybe it is shiplap. I can't remember what they call it where it's, it just hangs over it. It's not, it doesn't butt into it, but it just overlaps. So I'm going to try that, bring that across this way. I might have to just go buy some other big boards, which I believe I have to go to Home Depot to buy to get those so that we can extend those out the whole way. Um, get this part closed off so it'll all be sealed up so when it gets wintry cold down here in St. George meaning it gets down to like 50 degrees then it won't be too bad so let's tuck in some corners cut a little trim a little pieces off and we're all good to go I'm gonna get started on the siding now so it's just gonna be this regular um, carbon plywood stuff from Home Depot this is an 8 inch piece but I'll be doing 12 inches the bottom parts 8 inches and then 12 inches all the way up then the top part I think will be around 8 inches as well so we're just gonna trim this up and put it in I've kind of started down here so you see my line on it <coughs> Ooh, dusty today and so we'll get started on that Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Tell me what 
I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away
All right, that is gonna bring us to the end of another episode of Sticky Situation. We got a lot done this weekend. I was pretty happy with where we ended up. So we got the multicolor patchwork siding on there. Don't worry, I'm gonna paint it. That's in the future. Um, so because I had to use some of the old siding that we took off the other side, put it back in. Because you know me, I'm a reuse it kind of guy. I'm a use it, make it work, you know, type whatever. But looks kind of funny, but at the same time, looks kind of cool. So either way, I got some siding on it. I do have some few pieces up on the other side, but I didn't put that in yet because I have to um, put the fascia up top. See if I can show you that's, that one a bit there. So I've still got to get all that done in. So I'm going to probably take this piece down, which isn't level anyway. I'm just kind of tuck it up there to make sure it fit. Um, put my fascia on that side, put my fascia down there. But in order to do that, I have to put another board across there. So I have something to nail it to. Um, so we're going to do that next time we're here. But for the most part, got it wrapped, got it in. And then I'll show you, we got the basement. All dug out other than one little rock. And man, my hands, or my knees, and my shins are so beat up from doing those, smashing that thing, that concrete up. So next time I come, I'm hoping to be able to also pour the cement slab down there, which will allow me then to measure my stairs, and get all that put in, put the foundation in. But it's nice, we have a door into the basement. That's been really handy, instead of having to run down the other side. So yeah, we'll do the basement next time. Hopefully get that slab poured and put some stairs in. And we're coming along real good. I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to be close to done, or at least semi-close. I really, <coughs> after that, then I have to do the bathrooms and everything else, but we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Glad you could stick around. Don't forget to give us a like and if you aren't a member of the channel seriously subscribe already it's not that hard click the little button thanks again my friends and we'll see you on the next one